Hello, my name is Jonathan. Welcome to another video lesson. This one is a short and particularly lo-fi lesson. Uh, I've not got any microphones, I've not got my kit set up or anything like that. It's just me, a pad and a metronome. This video, um, somebody requested me to make one. Um, they were having understand, they were having trouble understanding how to read and understand tuplets. So this short video will aim to act as a summary introduction on how to understand and read tuplets. On a basic level, a tuplet is a noted grouping. Uh, the most common is obviously a triplet, but this expands to quintuplet, sextuplet, any noted grouping you can think of. The problem that a lot of people encounter is understanding how to read it when there are two numbers. This on screen at the moment is perhaps the more formal way to write a tuplet and you will notice there are two numbers. So in this case we have a triplet. There is a grouping of three notes with a bracket over the top and a three colon two. And I think this is the area of confusion because these numbers can change depending on the type of tuplet and the rhythms involved. So what I just wanted to do was break this down and, and make it clear how this works and hopefully this will help you understand it. The key is understanding the note value that you're currently working in. So here is a bar of quavers which we all know to play counting the and. One and two and three and four and. If we add in a tuplet at the end we'll convert beat four to a triplet we'll see that we now have the bracketed three notes with a three colon two. We all understand this to be a triplet. One and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a. But why the two numbers? Well, very simply, this is a bit of a sentence that we can turn it, we can turn it into a bit of a sentence where we can say it is the first number in the space of the second number. So, in our triplet here, we have three in the space of two. The three refers to the tuplet grouping we're playing with, three, triplet. The two refers to the number of the note value in which we're playing. Sounds a bit complicated. Basically, you need to imagine that the tuplet is not there. If we look at this bar, one and two and three and, beats one, two and three all have two quavers in them. We need to imagine that beat four also has two quavers in it, four and. Now we look at our triplet, our three quavers, our three eighth notes, are to be played in the same space as two quavers, as if there were two quavers. So our tuplet, while adding more notes into the beat, is to be played in the same space as if there were only two. So this is our sentence of our tuplet, three notes in the space of two, three eighth notes in the space of two eighth notes. It therefore follows that a tuplet is played at a faster rate, not a faster tempo, but a faster rate than if there was no, no tuplet there, because we're fitting more notes into the space of fewer notes. We're in this instance fitting three notes into the space of two notes. What about slightly more complicated tuplets then? Here is an instance of a quintuplet. Note the numbers have changed. We've now got five in the space of four. Notice also that the note value has changed. We're not in eighth notes, we're not in quavers anymore. We're now in sixteenth notes, semiquavers. So look at beats one, and two and three. We just have groups of four sixteenth notes. One e and a two e and a three e and a. When we get to the tuplet on beat four, we are now fitting, remember our sentence, five into the space of four. And this refers to the note value in question, in this instance, sixteenths. So on beat four, where we have our tuplet, we are fitting five sixteenth notes into the space of four. We're playing five more quickly so that we complete the five in the space that we would normally complete four. So if we play this, one e and a, two e and a, three e and a. Three e and a is the space we have to play our five note tuplet in the fourth beat. One, two, three, four, five. Sounds all a bit disjointed, so let's stick a metronome on. We are playing five notes in the space of four.
So there, quite simply, when we get to the fourth beat of each bar, I'm adding an extra note into that beat. So we have to play it faster to fit the extra note in. As I said, a very short lesson. I hope this clears up a few misconceptions or a few misunderstandings. Very simply, the two numbers are to be thought of as a sentence. The first number in the space of the second number. Three notes in the space of two, five notes in the space of four, and these can get more complicated. Six notes in the space of two, four notes in the space of three. There are many, many different combinations of tuplet, but they all work the same way. First number in the space it would normally take to play, second number. Five notes in the space it would normally take to play, four notes of the given note value. That's the crucial part. So you need to look at the note value of the tuplet in question. Because if the tuplet in question is based around 16th notes, that's what those numbers are referring to. So if we have our quintuplet here, we are in, quin we are in semiquavers, we're in 16th notes. So our tuplet is telling us to play five of those 16th notes in the space it would normally take to play four of those 16th notes. I hope that helps. See you next time.